All right, fellas. Real quick game here with the Zeus. With these Chicago Bears, man. See how these guys run the scheme. After this, it's NyQuil and sleep. <laughs> yeah, man. I gotta get up a little early tomorrow. I'll go to work. But yeah, let's see how these bears get down with the Zeus, though. I, I, I looked at the depth chart. I like what I seen on the depth chart. So, only action will tell. <laughs> I even went into practice mode just to play with them for a little bit on offense and defense. And I kind of, I figure, I figure they can run it because they got a lot of penetration on the line that they can deliver with Lamar Houston and a couple other guys down there. Zone coverage is fairly decent. So. Anything that got zone coverage, I can mess with them. And the Bears look good for the most part, but this will be my first time playing with Chicago on this game. This can be the first L or the first dub. <coughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on E. Sports. Two teams will need their quarterbacks to step up and lead their offenses on the gridiron today. It's the Bears going up against the Eagles. <coughs> so let's send you up to Pennsylvania. Excuse me. Standing by in Philadelphia are Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. Thank you very much, Larry. We are here on a beautiful afternoon for football. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Chicago Bears and the Philadelphia Eagles. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it past the 25. And that was a nice legit move he delivered line. there. Oh. Okay. He comes out in the shotgun. That one good for ten yards. That's good to know. Bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. Now let's go. Blue line it. Blue line. Now Wentz throwing on second down. And Matthews over the middle with the ground. Defense is there though. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40 yard line. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height, sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. Because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drive <coughs> completed. Excuse me. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which saves him time and actually completes a play a little bit quicker uh, 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 uh. than it normally does for a quarterback has to slide and find open space to throw. And a peek at the offense. And Matthews, a guy that we have to talk about. And Jordan Matthews, Brandon, is an anomaly. Normally, a long receiver plays outside. He likes to work out of the slot. Does a terrific job absorbing punishment and catching here the football. Three, nineteen. Three, nineteen. On the ground, the first carry for Ryan Matthews. Ooh. Let's expand on Ryan Matthews for a second. He has a couple thousand yard years in his back pocket. This All season, right. 661. Did have a career high eight touchdowns, but where does he fit in to the Eagles offense going forward? That's going to be an interesting question that has to be answered by Philadelphia, Let's by go. Doug Peterson, their head coach, because he was truly their lead running back until a fumble at Detroit. I think that changed things for him. A so that's what he likes to do, right? Philadelphia ended up losing the game. He okay. takes care of the football. He's a hard-hitting, aggressive inside runner who can set a tone for a team. But if he doesn't take care of the ball, that gives an opportunity for someone else to come in and become the lead runner for Philadelphia. Wentz now to throw. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. He likes throwing to the flats. Okay. We got that for our fellas. We got that. It'll be a gain of nine. And it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. And they're getting him involved early. You feel free fire. like they saw something on tape right, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. 
They wanted to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like to match Flip that free safety might get three. One of his advantages of a passer is now with his height setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clear. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket <coughs> to find me. angles to throw the ball through. He just goes right over the top of it. Uh -uh. Why did he do that? And sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. Anytime a ball is thrown in the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Now Wentz on third down. Hey, ooh, get that pick, boy. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. A great reason ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, <coughs> first interception <coughs> throw. And that last one, that hurts. They'll come out <coughs> in the pistol. A first carry now for Jordan Howard. What, the, what was that? So like, I ain't never seen <laughs> I have never seen him do that before. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. When you talk about this offense, you, of course, have to talk about Alshon Jeffrey. Long, agile. He makes any He threw that ball hard. Y'all see that toss play? Like, second down following anyway. On second down, Cutler. He's got that one complete to Eddie Royal. They get nine out of that one and as um Okay. <laughs> Excuse my cough, fellas. I, it's going away. I'm like on the edge end of this little common cold. Technically, what happened at work, where I work at, you know, say so we got like these uh, these desks that we share with other workers, uh, day shift, night shift, and um, they had uh, canceled the contract with this one cleaning company that brings in like the Clorox wipes and stuff. So one day I go in there without my wipes, thinking that okay, we got wipes in the building. Couldn't clean off the daggone desk, and come to find out, the guy that was working night shift had a cold sneezing and coughing all over the keyboard and stuff so i'm like damn yeah i found out about that after the shift was over with so eight hours of messing around with this computer come to find out it was infected with somebody already sneezing and coughing on it so that's how i caught the daggone cold but now i got my own chlorox wipes taking to work every day since they terminated the cleaning crew that we had that would supply them so it's crazy man and it's going around too, man. The flu go around. Well, I don't know if it's. I don't know if you can even call it the flu. It's just like, just I don't know. <clears throat> Definitely going away though. And you were telling me before the game, taking this from your <coughs> college bank, that if they need something done in 2017, maybe in the secondary. Is that right? I think you're right on that one because I think they're very happy with Malcolm Jenkins and Rodney McLeod down the middle as the safeties, but they'd love to make an upgrade on the corner position because if you're playing in the NFC East, there's some guys who go out and get the football. And I, think mm, I could have been gone, fellas. Y'all saw that gap he left right there? He's covered two in me, so I figured I'd do this. Now, he stops me on this third and four here. If I can't get four yards, I'm going to go on and punt it. So he's expecting. Ah. Uh, hard count. <laughs> Are you upset like that for real? <laughs> All right. Rain jacket. 
Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears nice football coat. here to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first For down. such a short person. <laughs> huh? Oh, he scooted over too. Thank you, bro. Now, we're gonna just tease him with this. We're gonna make him blitz, guys. We're gonna we're gonna run it until he starts blitzing. We're sending like over five people. He starts doing that. I'm gonna toss it over his head. Faster than you would think, and has the ability to catch the football out of the backfield. Something that we didn't know he truly possessed. We saw that in the off-season workouts. I don't like that play. Though. Running ability to good use in the NFL. I don't NFL. like it. And the play clock's running down. They'll run it down out of the gun. And it's going to be stopped up at about the 40. That's how you tease the clock. <laughs> See, he sent all of them. <laughs> I knew he was going to do that. <laughs> Oh, I knew he was going to do it. Hey, the he said the whole squad. <laughs> All right, fellas. Let's, uh... So, right now, what do you think he's going to do? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> That cover two, man. You better get out that thing. Forty-seven yards, and the Bears are in for six. And when a hail mary is completed for a touchdown pass like that, I think any defensive coordinator just puts their face right into their hands. These Bears, though, I don't think man. Any doubt about it, and I don't, I don't have the stats in front of me. I don't have the empirical numbers that say that in recent years the hail mary pass has been completed more than it has been. <laughs> We straight up missed that field goal. I slipped on the kick meter. That's cool. We'll take six points. Whatever. Whatever. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this. I got to time that meter a little better. I always struggle with that daggone meter ever since they changed it. And you look to next year, Charles, for a moment. All right, so I'm thinking strong eagle slant three for some reason. Really take a leap forward. I think you start wide, meaning the receivers, and then work your way back inside. Because you've got to have people who are dependable next to Jordan Matthews, who plays the slot position as one of the taller, bigger receivers in there. They need guys out wide. Good call. Good call. Let's go with the, um, he likes going to that slide. Sideline, so we're gonna go ahead and tease him. He likes doing that, so we're gonna play a little better. That's his favorite throw. It's a, I think it's a drag that he's throwing or something like that. Pretty simple completion there underneath, but a successful one for the uh, offense. Partner doesn't have to be the big shots downfield all the time. Steve. Having that safety net underneath is a great thing for a quarterback. Ertz has it left side. <coughs> Too bad we can't get a hit stick. Right Let's go with a um, cover three weak press. No, sir. Lay it down, young man. Lay it down. So now we can send a little heat. Since he's doing all that nonsense, let's go ahead and go with uh. Abandon the run game, spread things out, and go to the air. It certainly can't be any worse than what they've done so far. A screen. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen All right, let's go with this. Uh, Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Okay, we know Still what he wants to do, right? Ended up with a solid game. Here we go, gonna try and throw on third. No, sir. He can't do that. I told you. What I tell y'all about that one guy, that spy, that spy. He's hovering right there in the middle, waiting. He stays there just waiting for the pick. Remember that? In the, uh,